Visit us at Eduvo. Thank you for calling Eduvo. Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will see how to create the digital clock in Swing. For that, I just import a library of Java X dot Swing. Import Java dot AWT and import Java dot text and then import java dot util okay for that clock i just impl implements runnable okay so i just implement this runnable here because it's inherited from the runnable here i just create j frame and means as a variable and create the thread which is t is equal to null so when we just always create a image so we just create the thread for it so int hours which start from zero then minutes which also start from zero and then seconds which is equal to zero now a string and time is string v is equal to empty string okay so now i just create a button so j button which is b and here i just create a method method for clock and then i just write f which is equal to new j frame so i just create a j frame here okay now i just write t which is equal to new thread and thread which is this and here i just start a thread so b which is equal to new j button and j button here and then b dot set boundaries so the boundaries here are 100 100 100 and 1 sorry and the 50 okay now i just add the component here so component is b and then f dot set size and the size here is 300 and 400 okay so this is the boundaries of this button and now i just set the frame size and f dot set which is visible and it's true okay now public void and run function so here exception try while true true and it's a small tree so when it's true so here calendar call is equal to calendar dot get instance okay so it will get the calendar instance and then hours is equal to call dot get and yes it's our call dot get and here i just write calendar dot hours underscore of a day so it will get the hours of a day here okay so it's a calendar here's calendar 2 then so now I just write if and if hours is greater than 12 so hours is equal to 12 so this is decrement operator and then minutes which is equal to call dot get and get here is calendar dot minute okay so it is calendar ar okay so i just write calendar as a e so calendar dot minute and it's calendar dot minute okay now seconds which is equal to call dot get and get here is 
calendar dot second of the day okay now i just write sample date format okay here i just write format for 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 format which is equal to new simple date format and here i just write the format a format is hour minutes seconds okay so this is our time format and here i just write for as a keyword so that why i just not use for so i just write for matter okay so here i just write date and then date which is equal to call dot get time okay now time string is equal to for matter dot format and then here i just write date so print function which is time okay so it will print the time now t dot sleep so it will sleep up to one second so okay so this interval gives into the milliseconds i think so catch and exception is catch here exception e okay and now after that here i just write public void and print time function or a method so b dot set and b dot set text and text here is time a string okay so these are not the hours this is hour of the day okay now i just check the output so i just not get the right output yet because i just not declared the main method okay so public static void main and string arguments and then new which is clock okay now i just run this code so here you can see the time is shown to us on the frame so this is a simple example of the digital clock in java swing thanks for watching this lecture see you in next lecture if you are looking for teaching stuff education stuff programming series application and android development coding skills marketing skills presentation skill paid courses for free are available thank you for calling edavvo